Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Infinity, and this is Magnetize Yourself, where we talk about life, love, spirituality, and of course, the law of attraction. This is going to be a twin flame reading video. Do keep in mind, this is just a mini reading, so it isn't necessarily collective. If you would like to explore my most recent collective twin flame readings and energy updates, look for a video with the title or with the words energy updates in the title. And I post these longer, more collective energy updates on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Also, be sure to subscribe or double check that you are already subscribed if you would like to receive a specific message in this reading for you and your situation. By subscribing, you are not only allowing me to pick up on your energy more easily for this reading, but also in future readings as well, I'm able to channel you more accurately and bring you more relevant content. So I'm intending for this to be a reading sharing some of what could be coming in for Twin Flames during this full moon in Virgo. Happy full moon, by the way. I hope you've been having a really beautiful day. Let me know if you have any kinds of full moon rituals or manifestation rituals that you do on this lunation cycle in the comments under this video. And in the spirit of the full moon, I am starting this reading by pulling a card from the Moonology deck. And actually two cards came out here. Take time to breathe out, disseminating moon. Step out of your comfort zone, north node. So right away, I feel that with this take time to breathe out card, this could be speaking to a divine feminine. I'm hearing that divine feminine, many of you have been working really hard recently. Whether that's actual work at your career or your job, or whether this is what we think of as energetic work, shifting, healing, transformations taking place beneath the surface. Be really kind and gentle to yourself. I'm really hearing have fun. Do something that brings you joy. Relax a little bit, especially today on this full moon. And especially if you've been feeling burnt out lately, find a way to take some time for yourself and trust. That word trust is really coming out strongly for someone here. Now, with the card, step out of your comfort zone, I feel this is actually speaking to a divine masculine. Now, with the sun card in the reverse position, this almost, almost always refers to some kind of new beginning. So the fact that it is in the reverse tells me that someone could be trying to work towards some kind of new phase in their life here. I'm specifically sensing a divine feminine who is trying to apply effort to something in her life that she's trying to begin, but she could at times feel as though this is having difficulty getting off the ground, that this new beginning isn't quite fully coming in for her. This could be in love relationships, or it definitely could be in work, business, career for someone as well, some kind of new phase in her life. And I'm hearing continue to move as you feel guided and also trust the timing because I really feel if this is connecting with you, divine timing is on your side more than you know here. With caring connections in the midway position here, I guess you could say the middle position, I feel that there's a divine masculine here who is silently trying to figure out how a divine feminine feels about them. It's almost this energy of, I can't quite read you in the physical, in the way that I used to. So again, these mini readings are not collective, so they won't resonate with everyone. Only take what connects with you personally, but I'm strongly sensing a masculine who's feeling a bit of, a bit of, I almost want to say anxiety or doubts with happy family in the upright position, 
This speaks to reunion. I feel a lot of dreamy, kind of daydreaming, fantasizing energy from this masculine. There is some sacral chakra, kind of sensual energy coming up with this as well. So I feel this masculine is really daydreaming about being with the divine feminine in the physical, tangible world. And Part of why he's consciously feeling this pull, especially through the sacral chakra, is because of the recent sacral chakra openings that have been happening for the masculine, allowing him to open himself to being available to authentic soul connection because of this deeper of deeper level of vulnerability the masculine is achieving here with strategy in the upright position making a plan thinking into the future i feel that these daydreams and fantasies although they have that dreamy quality to them this masculine is also thinking in a concrete way i hear someone saying how can i make this work how can i bring this situation together the word fish came out, so someone might like to fish here. This could be a masculine that likes to fish. I also see some kind of a boat here, potentially a fishing boat. So I want to know what else is this masculine thinking or feeling here about the divine feminine? The cards are kind of silent here as I'm trying to pull a specific message, which tells me this masculine might be really tight-lipped about these daydreams, fantasies, plans, even that they're making, things that they're thinking about you, Divine Feminine. There could be even a bit of a silence in communication, or if you are communicating, there could be this feeling like he's not being fully open about what he's feeling, but I'm almost getting this energy of if he has seemed a little more closed off lately, it's actually because the opposite is going on within him because it's like that feeling of I'm afraid to even start talking and opening up because I'm scared that I'll say too much. And of course, the card to finally come out here from this very kind of quiet set of cards from the masculine is just being near you is intoxicating. I feel like that level of addiction this masculine is feeling to the energy. It's like literally to the energy of this divine feminine. Like I want to be in your energy. I want to just like bask in your energy. It's addicting to me. It's intoxicating to me, but I feel that's actually why this masculine is feeling this in an intensified way is because potentially the divine feminine here actually pulled away her energy recently or in the last, you know, weeks to months to year. And I feel that divine feminine, whenever you pull away your energy, this masculine realizes just how addicted he is to your to you being energetically present in his life to some degree, whether it's physically being together or even just, I see two people texting, so that's probably really relevant for someone. Yeah, I feel there's a divine feminine here who's guarded. With woman holding a heart reversed, I see her pulling away her love energy. I heard the word cordial. It's like acting cordial or like more formal with someone, kind of withdrawing that level of, that level of closeness or openness with them when it comes to expressing feelings, specifically romantic feelings. I sense that this feminine, not that she's gone cold, but that there was this pulling back on the side of the feminine here and actually secretly, although this masculine is trying to hide it, that's made him consciously realize just how intoxicated he is by her energy. There's something coming up about communication, like this masculine missing I hear him say like, I miss the way we used to talk and the way that we used to just be able to go on and on. I see two people potentially even like talking all night, if that's a thing for some of you. It's this energy of like not being able to get enough of each other, but then I feel that something happened to change this dynamic a bit within this connection. Why did this dynamic change in the 3D blossoming abundance in the reverse position because it wouldn't ground. There's this feeling of like from the side of the feminine, I kept putting 
intention into this positive intention, planning for our future, trying to push things ahead, but nothing ever really took hold. Nothing ever really took root here. It's like I'm getting this illustration of planting a seed, but the seed never sprouts and roots itself in the ground. So you have this idea of what you want to plant and what you want this to be and you plant it and you water it and you put so much into it, but it never fully takes root. It's that kind of frustration. And I feel that the one who was trying to do all this planting and watering, which I feel represents really this feeling of giving so much, this feeling of, of, um, there could even be a divine feminine here. Who's actually a gardener that could be relevant to someone. It's this feeling of putting so much time, energy, and attention into something that never fully takes form. Yeah, and the reason this didn't fully take form is because Healer of the Ages just came out here in the reverse position. It's because something about this masculine wasn't ready for it to take form. I see him in the past somehow pushing this away, pushing this even to the side, or it could have felt to the Divine Feminine like being pushed to the side. And this lack of healing in this masculine, this wound, is sitting really heavily on his sacral chakra. So connecting with his inability to be open or specifically emotionally vulnerable, it's like there is frustration here because there was a masculine who wouldn't ever fully express what he was feeling or wouldn't say it enough or i hear a feminine say or say it when it mattered it's like because i feel this energy of this masculine coming in trying to make up for lost time or if he's not already doing this this could be what he wants to do like wanting to come in and say all the things that he didn't say before it's this feeling of urgency from the masculine as well. Like I have to say what I should have said so long ago. I really feel this masculine's undergone some kind of recent energetic healing that is causing him to want to now open up. But for the side of the feminine, he may be afraid that it's going to be too little too late or that she's going to reject him or that she's not going to want to hear it at this point which could be why that card step out of your comfort zone came in here because the masculine is feeling pushed to make some kind of a choice here. Like, are you going to live in your unhappiness without this person that you want to be with? Or are you going to step forward even though it makes you feel anxious and a bit uncomfortable to put yourself out there? Are you going to say what you need to say anyway? And I feel there are people around this masculine somehow talking in his ear or getting involved a little bit with his decision about what to do, whether or not to come forward with this divine feminine because the community card up rights came out here. I'm also sensing someone might be seeing the number 1515 or the number 777. So who is it around this masculine who is somehow getting involved? The journey card came up in the upright position. This could be someone that lives closer to them. If you divine feminine live further away from them, this is some kind of this is some kind of potentially a romantic connection in their life. This could be a third party or a karmic that lives close to them, or this could be a platonic friendship with someone who is, I'm actually hearing a masculine platonic soulmate or group of masculines who are advising this masculine about what to do about you, divine feminine, or about the situation. It's kind of a strange message coming through here. I'm also picking up with this heart chakra and journey card 
Yeah. Okay. For someone. So if it's not, I'm sensing that these people around this masculine advising him about this situation with you, divine feminine are somehow influencing or swaying him in some sense. It's either a karmic feminine that you're already aware of a kind of third party situation. And this could be something holding him back from following through on his daydreams about you and fully moving forward. Alternatively, if that doesn't apply to your situation, this is some form of platonic soul mate in his life. So this could be a masculine friend or a group of friends who he has some kind of amicable bond with who are aware of you in this situation and who are trying to, they, these people, the, if it's a masculine soulmate or a group of soul friends, these people are actually pushing this masculine forward. I see them literally like pushing him, like go, like go to her, run to her. But if it's a karmic feminine, this is actually kind of swaying him the other direction and kind of holding him back. But regardless, there are some kind of external influences at play here as well. So what else does this masculine want to say? I just saw the number 555. I've been seeing that so much in these readings we've been doing. It's usually a number that indicates some kind of rapid change. And I suppose we've been getting that number a lot because of all of the powerful energetic shifts and changes that have been happening collectively for us as twin flames that we've been channeling through these readings and also through the collective energy updates as well. So door to value in the upright position, crown chakra activation, causing this masculine to realize what is really important to him because this is sitting on the crown chakra. It's like a realization of divine value, specifically seeing the value in this divine connection he shares with the divine feminine. And there's this powerful reprioritization happening for the masculine. If this is connecting with you personally, know that there are a lot of really intense crown chakra activations happening for the masculine right now. And I've channeled much more specific information on these in my most recent twin flame energy update, which is available on my channel. I'm resisting my desire for you because it's too late now. We've grown apart and you moved on. So there is that fear of rejection coming out for this masculine. It's like, I want to fully come forward, but I'm afraid that you won't want to hear the things that I should have said so long ago. And although I do sense some kind of separation between these twins, the masculine here is afraid that the feminine has moved on. Now, I feel in some cases you have moved on divine feminine, but for others of you, you actually haven't moved on. It's just that this masculine is living in his fear here and really thinking, you know, I don't, there's this feeling of not knowing what's going on in your life and making assumptions. So that's the key here. It's like, you and this person are not very aware of what's going on in each other's physical 3D lives, even though you are extremely aware of one another spiritually. And because of this, this masculine, although he senses you spiritually, he doubts that connection because he is more 3D focused at this time. He is still in his healing and so he has these doubts coming in, making him wonder if it's too late, if he's silly for wanting to come forward in this way, or if you would reject him if he did. So is there anything else here that I can channel for the twin flames connecting? I am grateful for this spiritual lesson also came out here. I see this card indicating that as this masculine, especially with this crown chakra opening, his opening to divine guidance, his own inner guidance, he's really consciously realizing this is a soul bond. This isn't going away. This is a soul connection. And regardless of what happens in the future of this connection or what choices are made by either party, I sense this masculine feeling this heart opening sense of gratitude, almost like the kind of gratitude that makes you cry tears of joy. And I do sense him feeling emotional about this connection and about you, Divine Feminine, thinking back 
on the times that you did share together, because I do feel there's some form of separation happening between you in regards to distance or communication or something along those lines. But I sense this masculine feeling so consciously cognizant of the soul bond you share, how powerful and intense it's always been. The fact that it's always going to be something they feel connected to, that it's not going away. And they actually, I feel in the past, they may have felt a little bit intimidated by that. So they tried to kind of deny or doubt that knowing of the intensity of your soul bond. But now it's actually bringing them a sense of peace and gratitude for you and for everything this connection has taught them and how much they've grown through it. They are really beginning to connect the dots and put the pieces together about this. Yeah, goddess of the moon in the upright position. Also, the words grandmother and German came out here. Someone might have a grandmother energy, specifically a divine feminine, may have a grandmother or a great grandmother, someone in your maternal line who acts as a spirit guide to you, who is energetically supporting you in this life journey. And regardless, divine feminine, you are really rising into your power. You are embodying the fully awakened divine feminine. And with strategy in the upright position, while I feel this masculine is making more concrete plans or at the least having these fantasies of moving forward with you divine feminine in the physical i feel you've turned your focus and attention onto yourself your goals your dreams creating that masculine structure in your life which is really healing your inner masculine and is part of why this masculine is being pushed to these realizations, is beginning to connect the dots because divine feminine, you are doing the work on yourself and within your own life. So continue that rise into your own self-empowerment. Continue creating that structure around your goals and dreams in your life because you are doing a beautiful job and your guides really want you to know that at this time. So this feels like a really great place to close out this reading. If it did resonate with you, I really recommend exploring my subliminal for twin flame surrender. This subliminal is designed to deeply reprogram your subconscious mind, strengthening, balancing, and harmonizing your own inner masculine and inner feminine energy. And the beauty of this as a twin flame is that when you do the work to balance your inner masculine and your inner feminine to come into union within yourself, you actually create an energetic union that is very real in the spiritual realm with your twin flame. And it's actually this energetic union state that naturally then manifests in the physical world through more frequent interactions, conversations, more authenticity, and vulnerability and ultimately what we think of as that manifested physical reunion state but this all has to start energetically and when we talk about energy we're really talking about the subconscious mind because the subconscious mind controls 95 percent of our thoughts which therefore reflects in our energy field so subliminals such as my twin flame surrender subliminal are designed to deeply reprogram the subconscious mind by using unconscious affirmations that bypass the filter of your conscious mind and are therefore able to make deep lasting impressions on the subconscious that instantaneously begin to reflect in your energy field. This twin flame surrender subliminal comes from my website soundandsoulful.com. So as you can see on the screen, on this website, I've created over 100 subliminals for all areas of life. So I have subliminals for physical appearance changes, for mood shifts like confidence and happiness, for material manifestations, for love and relationships, and of course for twin flames specifically as well. And you can try out any subliminal I've created completely free for seven days by creating a free trial account on my website so all of that information is linked below under this video in the pinned comment and description box 
Otherwise, be sure to double check that you are subscribed so that I can bring forth and channel more relevant videos and information in the future for you and your connection. Have a beautiful, wonderful rest of your day, and I will talk to you again in the next reading.